uh, from Guitar at Work and still at the lake here, a wonderful place and thankful to be invited to be here. Um, this is Lake Clear near Eganville, it's beautiful. And um, this is the third part of our strumming series and this is the articulate strum. I think you'll find on up-tempo songs, this is a great way to play, for sure. Um, there'll be some sheets that you can download, as always, free of charge, nothing to sign up for. Go to shanesimpson.com, look for that red button that says Download Guitar at Work Song Sheets and you're on your way. I think you could probably do it without the sheets, but you may find them helpful, I'll be referring to them all the time. Um, I'm going to stay on G here for a little bit. I call this the articulate strum, maybe there's another name for it, but I've always called it the articulate strum. Instead of doing this on an up-tempo song, which can be a little bit of abrasive, a little bit abrasive, uh, you can do this. You get the same 16th note kind of buzz, but you're not, you're not killing and sort of uh, uh, smothering everything. So in time, it's this, and I'll slow it down in just a second, break it down for you. that kind of barn burning effect but uh, again you're not super loud what it is here I'm gonna play it sitting on a G chord for a little while uh, it's all in the right hand I'm gonna play the low E string with a down stroke and then play the open D string with an up stroke again that is so far bass note there up stroke here and then a down up on the three remaining strings okay that's a top three strings so in time you've got bass note here up stroke here and then a down up on the top three strings on the G again, down, up, and then down, up, like that. So a little quicker, bass, up, down, up, bass, up, down, up, bass. Now you may have to look at your right hand, there's no shame in that. You're going to miss certain strings, and don't consider that to be a mistake. Try to nail it for sure, it's for practicing, but uh, even if you hit an adjacent string, it still sounds good as part of a chord, but uh, do your best. You don't want it to feel surgical, it may at first though. So you're getting bass, up, That cooking. Yeah, we'll play it slowly. Play it slowly, and that will come for sure. Now, that particular pattern will work on any chord that has no axis. You know how a G, all six strings are available, similar to, let's say, an E minor or E. I would play exactly the same thing on an E. So e minor, excuse me, E minor, bass note, up, and down. Exactly the same right hand pattern as a G. Well, um, now it's all about families or string sets. Uh, a C chord, as you know, has one X. This guy is typically unavailable. We try not to hit him if you're playing C sort of the normal way here. So your right hand has to follow that rule of the X. I'm gonna go, he's gonna start here on the A string, bass note there, you're gonna go right to the next string with an up stroke. And then again with the down up on the top three strings. So you're gonna have bass, and then up, down up. And bass, up. There we go. And uh, again, you don't want to feel surgical. You may have to look at that right hand though. And you may have to stop tape right there and just sit down and get that guy going on for sure. There's only one more string set and that's when a situation, uh, like on a D chord, when a chord has two X's, in this case a D, I'll play a D this way, and now we're the two X's will obey that and on my, my right hand we'll start here with a bass note on the D string, open, and then go to the very next string with an up stroke and then I'm going to play the top three strings, like that with a down up, so again on the D chord, down, up, down, so bass note, then up stroke on the G string, and then top three strings, down up. Again, down, up, down. Yeah. 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 Kind of may, may even sound odd when you're playing it slowly. It's really meant for that barn burning quick. So in review, your three string sets, a G chord has no X's in it. Okay, so starting here, low E, skipping a string, going to the D string on an up stroke, and then down up. Okay, so get that guy going. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'll go to a D chord here, which has two X's. Starting from there. There we go. I'll go to a C chord, which 
which has one X. It's the only other possibility. Bass will start here on the A string. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's really important to play it down, up, because it keeps your right hand always doing that. Down, up, 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 down. People like to go down, down. You think that'll be easier? Don't do it. Stick with the down, up motion. You go down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Here's a D. Here's an E minor. I call it the articulate strum because it does sound more articulate than just straight. The equivalent with a normal strum would be. Yes, and there's lots of opportunity to do that as well, but if you're looking to, to have that 16th note buzz and stay a little more quiet, singers appreciate it, I promise you that. There you go. So you can play fast, but not necessarily sort of blanket covering everything. Back to if, the, if that's new to you, if you head back to part two of this particular strumming series, you'll hear um, we, we talk about uh, where to accent, how to accent, and how to equip yourself to accent. That's where we we'll bring all that together, tie everything the articulate strum with your 16th note accents, and you're golden. I hope you enjoyed that and benefited from it. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button, it just tells you when new videos have come out, lots more coming down. So, uh, and I appreciate your comments and suggestions. And uh, give me a thumbs up, it really does help on this end. We'll see you again very soon for some more. Have fun with it, eh? Okay, bye bye now. Cheers.